Few entrepreneurs have faced the challenges and hardships encountered by Marianne Shad, one of Canada's early businesswomen. Born as a free person in Wilmington, Delaware in 1823, Marianne learned about the importance of freedom at an early age. In 1850, the United States Congress passed the Fugitive Slave Act, a new law that put her family's freedom and lives in danger. So Marianne's family did what so many others did at the time. They pulled up stakes and moved to Canada. She moved to Windsor, across the border from Detroit, where her entrepreneurial spirit flourished. Marianne founded an integrated school for the area's growing fugitive slave population, where students of all races could study and learn together. Then, in 1853, Marianne started an anti-slavery newspaper called The Provincial Freeman, making her the first black woman in North America to establish and edit a newspaper. She wrote about the importance of black self-reliance and integration into Canadian society. She advised on the need for new black citizens to insist on fair treatment and equal rights. And she encouraged education and hard work as tools for improvement and advancement. The Provincial Freeman also promoted women's rights and often included the lectures of feminists of the day. Ironically, despite her support for women's rights, initially Marianne did not place her own name as editor on the masthead of the newspaper she founded. Bowing to the rigid gender codes of the 19th century, she listed Samuel Ringgold Ward, a prominent black abolitionist at the time, as the publisher and editor of the Provincial Freeman. Marianne published her unique and progressive newspaper for seven years, establishing a circulation not only in Canada, but also in northern cities across the United States. In doing so, she helped change the racist attitudes that prevailed at that time and helped reshape the nation she left and the nation she embraced. That's why, in 1994, the Canadian government designated Mary Ann Shad a person of national historic significance. By pushing the boundaries and limitations normally associated with her race and gender, Marianne blazed a trail not only for black people, but also for generations of women that would follow.